Hey everyone and welcome to CG family and in this video we are going to use the HIK to retarget our animation from one character to another. So in our previous videos we told you about many ways Maya offers to transfer your animations from one character to another. Now the ones we talked about were Atom Export and the Anim Export. In this video we are going to use the HIK option to transfer our character's animation. Now in this scene as you can see right here, we have three characters. This one is just the motion capture data that has animation on it. This one is the character that we rigged but the, it has no controllers. Now this one on the other hand is fully rigged and is using controllers to animate. Now all the three characters are different. But let's see what the scene has to offer right here. So if we hit play. We see that the motion capture data is dancing and we have two characters doing the same animation. But the thing is this one doesn't have any animation. So as we can see on this guy, if I select his head and I pause, go to channel editor, you can see the animation is being driven from this character. This character has the animation on his head controller. But right here we have no animation on the head controller and all the animation is being driven from this character. Now we achieved this through the HIK. Now let's see if we can make it dance also. So if I select the burglar character and choose the source from Baldi to Silly Dance, we will see that the character has changed its position. Now if we hit play, now the animation is being driven from the joint to a burglar. Similarly we can also choose this dance to be performed on the baldy character. We have to stop and choose baldy to do the silly dance also. And now if we hit play. So as we saw this character is also doing the silly dance now. Alright now let's see how to make this happen. So let's create a fresh scene and start from there. Alright, so there's our first character that's already all set up for HIK because I imported it from Dash 3D. Now, let's first import our animation. Okay, here we have our animation. But there's nothing set up here for this animation. Now let's also introduce our own character, the burglar. Alright, so now our scene is set. What we have here is one character that's already set up for the HIK. That's called character 1. Let's rename it and again call it Baldi. And then we have this animation, that's our motion capture data. And then we have the burglar character. But both of these are not set up for the HIK yet. So let's set it up first. So if you just want to transfer the motion capture data to your animations, the process is easy. From the HIK's point of view, there's no different from one character rig to another. So all that the HIK does is that it goes to one character and asks, are you in the T pose? You say, yes, I am in the T pose. Then it says, all right, to the other party. Are you in the T pose? If the other party also says yes, and from what I mean says yes is mean if we set it up right here. And then the HIK says alright, then now you're all set up. So if you squat, I'll make you squat. If you look up, I'll make you look up. But as we can see right here, this is not in the T-pose. So if we set up our animation right here on this, this will not work correctly. And for our HIK to work correctly, all we need to do is, on the first frame, so animation starts from 0, so all we need to do is go to negative 1. 
and that will be the first frame for this one now and we will just select the hierarchy of it and now in the channel box I am just going to give it all zero in the rotations all right now everything is zeroed out in the rotation values and it has turned into a t-pose that's all you need to do to make your hik work perfectly smooth now let's start so we have our three characters one is already set up but we need to set the other two up so let's click here none and then let's set up the motion capture first so we click on create a character definition now it's all empty right here because there is not because there's nothing specified for this skeleton so we select the hips and right click assign the selected bones for the hip so what we did right here is we told hik that the hip bone is this one and similarly now we're going to continue forward for these bones so it's the first spine above hip so we are going to double click and then select this one so you have two ways you can either select the joint here and then go to the hik options and select right click and assign selected bones or you can double click on the bone and then click right here to the selected bone after that we are going to choose the neck and the head similarly go forward and choose all the bones so for the collarbone we choose this so in hik you only need to do one half the other half will be done automatically and we choose the right arm there it is forearm and the wrist all right now we need to do legs and you can also go inside and select this one and match it right here and the other part is also done all right this is it then so we have a first character ready now on the first frame of this animation the motion capture data we already told Maya that now you are in T pose so you can work with HIK and this tick right here shows that the validation is successful and if we somehow move anything it will show you an error that these things are not correctly aligned to the X axis now if we undo it's going to show the tick mark again so now we are ready let's check it right now so if we choose character 1 and rename it to silly dance now we need to choose the character bald and tell it to use the animation from the silly dance that's all we need to do now so if we choose this now if we hit play see this is the negative one frame so it's on the t pose and if we hit play right now and choose zero zero now it's performing the same animation that the motion capture is using we did not set up the hands that's why they are not following in the same order if you just go inside and choose all the fingers one by one your hands are also going to use the motion capture data to follow these now similarly this burglar character i put up right here is simply because if you set it up similar to the motion capture then you have the option to choose either to put the motion capture on this character or you can simply turn this character right here the bald character to control rig now you have your controls on this character then you can choose the other one for example say we have already set it up and then if we tell him to follow the bald character right here
so we already selected the baldy so that's why it's not coming up right here for so if we select any other character we can choose it to follow the bald character and now it's going to follow the bald character and if we rotate anything it's going to follow it i hope that cleared some doubts and when i was first trying this hik it was a bit complex for me because somehow i always got a weird animation in hands or some lag and nothing was in order so i had to search for the forums and other places to find out that the first frame in your animation whatever you're trying to achieve should be the t pose and if it's the t pose then the animation will work perfectly fine there you go there you have your zumba group So this is it for this video guys I hope you liked the video I apologize if some things were not clear it's really late in the night and I'm a bit tired but if you have any questions you can feel free to ask them in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to answer them So make sure to subscribe to our channel CG family if you want to watch more of these videos and as always I'll see you soon